Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to create a look using some neon polishes so in today's video I'll be sharing how I created this neon rainbow dry brush and floral design. All the polishes I'm going to use today are from Orly and I'm even going to use some polishes that I got to create at the Orly Color Labs in LA. Let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. I'm using two coats of Orly's First Kiss as my nude base polish. To create the rainbow dry brush, I'll be using two different colors on each nail, going in rainbow order. I'll start with Beach Cruiser, which is a neon pink polish. I want to remove as much excess polish as I can from the brush, so I'm going to scrape the brush on the side of the bottle. Your brush should look something like this, and you should be able to see the bristles of the brush. Then I'll create some diagonal brush strokes with whatever polish is left on my brush. Moving on to the second polish of my index nail, I'll be using this orange, which is one of the custom colors that I created at Orly Color Labs, and I called it Beverly Boulevard. For my middle nail, I'll start with Beverly Boulevard as my first polish, and then I'll use Glow Stick as my second polish. Glow Stick is a very bright fluorescent yellow polish, so it's perfect for this design. For my ring fingernail, I'll be using yellow and green, so I'll start with Glow Stick as my first polish, and then another custom color I created called Easy Come, Easy Grow, which is a green polish. For my pinky nail, I'll use the same Easy Come, Easy Grow as my green polish, and another custom color I created called Caramelogram as my blue polish. Now that we're done with the rainbow dry brush, let's move on to the floral stamp. I'm going to use Orly's Liquid Vinyl as the black polish to stamp, and this Nicole Diary stamping plate that I got from Born Pretty Store. You can get 10% off your purchase at bornprettystore.com using my code MGL10. I picked up the image using my monocle stamper from Maniology and stamped it onto my nail. Finally, apply a fast drying top coat and you're done! Here is the finished design. So that concludes today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I love how this turned out and if you recreate this design, I would love to see it. So be sure to tag me on Instagram at Caramelogram. Anyways, that's all for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because I really appreciate it. I'll leave links to everything I used in this video down in the description box below, as well as some discount codes, so be sure to check that out. Anyways, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!